Uh, it's another cold Oregon day. I got my buddy and fellow bus owner Mike here today to help me out with some uh, heavy work we're going to be doing under the bus today. We're investigating the steering slop issue, which is a two-person job. Stay tuned. Trial powder free. I get I get these at work at cost, dude. By the box, by the case. Those are Harbor Freight ones. You know how to make these? <laughs> they huh? dip. It, they have a glass mold, I think, of a hand, right? Yeah. And they pull them out. And they dry. Yep. And people in China with all different size hands and then dip them in the glass bowl and bring them out. So this one, steering sector, comes over here. Then this part here is called what? This is a, is this a drag leg? Or it's the crosswise one that's the drag leg? Ah, uh, this is tie rod. Ah. This is, yeah, I guess we can call it a drag leg because it is, Mm, technically between that and the thing, but I'm sure somebody... Are you recording? Yes. Okay. I have a drag link that goes back to front, but this is, I guess, similar. It's just sideways. So, yeah. I wonder if that's how they make the condoms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matthew. Start rocking the wheel. Yeah, more, because there's no power right now. You're going to have to do it pretty hard. Okay, this is moving here. That's good. Okay, uh, both pieces are moving here. They seem to be moving in unison. What about over there? Other, other side over there. Check that. Note. Oh, yeah. Well, that's moving the wheel, too. It seems quite tight. Listen for clicks. It's in the box. But there's no 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 power steering going, so we're clicking the valve through before he has enough effort to turn it. Right. Okay. 
this I'm not noticing anything. I don't know. Should I go get the stethoscope? Should I go get the rubber hose stethoscope? We can listen to it. Oh, I hear something popping over here. You probably want to do it just a little less, Matthew. A little more than that. Yeah, that's fine. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. Check your kingpins. How? Well, see if there's movement in swapping the kingpins. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Explain to our viewers. <laughs> well, <laughs> axle's here, and your spindle's here. There's mm -hmm. a kingpin that goes between it. It's in the top. It, it, it goes it? through on both both the upper and lower half of your spindles. So you you can't really check kingpins if you're on the ground like this. But but last time scott was here maybe you guys had it jacked up and maybe he looked at your kingpins but i don't feel any see where the wheel moves to compare to the axle up oh, right right up the, there yeah this, right up this there gooey yeah part. the kingpin goes right through there oh that thing is nasty greasy in there yeah it, so if you have sloppier kingpins that could do it too a little harder matthew so what would we feel if anything Just feel where it's steering, and you should feel steering, but it shouldn't be any lateral movement. Harder, Matthew. Not so fast, but harder. I had an alignment done on this too. They, you did okay. Yeah, they probably would have checked that then yeah, too, okay. right? Then uh, if they hadn't, if the alignment was done, yeah, they would keep it to check out. So maybe, maybe I need to have some more caster or camber or something dialed in on this uh, to it, make it wander yeah, less. Maybe that's that probably help a lot. Maybe you just need an alignment. So you're not I had an alignment done the very first thing before I started replacing any parts. It's Who, by a truck shop? Yeah. Truck lineup shop? Yeah, I took it to those guys you told me Oh, about. yeah, yeah, they yeah. That cool guy's supposed to be really good. Yeah. Maybe give him a call and tell him you got a little bit more wander than you'd like to see. So he's just rocking it back and forth and... I don't, everything's moving in unison. All, all your play. There's a teeny little knock in this when he does it. Yeah, I feel it too. Right here. Matthew, um, do it a little slower and gently, but... Oh, I felt it. Not, not so far. Do it just, just an inch either direction and quickly. Not so hard. Oh, right there. So, so look at how this U joint is. So, um, 
So this has to twist more than this does to get the same plate. And you know what we could do is undo this and move this around 90 degrees and that would take up a lot of the play. How? Because, um, uh, so that's... The geometry of it? Yeah, yeah, the geometry of it. See how much angle you have over here? Yeah. And how much angle you have here? I think if this is 90 degrees off, that could speed up the play quite a bit. Yeah, see how much he's got to wiggle the wheel to move this end? Yes. Yeah, so I think let's undo this bolt and let's turn your wheel. We Turn it 90? Yeah, turn this 90 and then we're going to rehook it up and we'll just reset your wheel. Your wheel could like, do you have a, a leading spoke at the top? Or you have a three spoke wheel, right? That whole thing lifts off there and can go back on however we want it to. Okay, so let's... Yeah, I don't I don't remember how they did it, but they did it at the alignment shop. They reset it. Let's turn this 90 degrees. Okay, stop moving. Stop. So the geometry of the U-joint, that does make sense. So I'm just trying to visualize if we turn that. Now, I should Especially probably, down there. I should probably move the camera so the viewers can see what, what we're talking about. All right. It's... Uh, Hang on to the steering wheel, Matthew. We're oh. taking a U-joint off down here. Oh, I need a wrench on the back of this. Okay. Same size, I think. What size you got? Uh, it's, I think it's 11. Uh, three quarters. Wow. Three quarters on one side, 11 sixteenths on the other. Oh, wait, no, five eighths. This wrench has both in case. All right, good. Yeah, that's what I was looking for up there. Very nice. All right. <clears throat> Ready? Mm-hmm. No more filming? Okay. Sounds pretty good. Feels good. A lot cheaper than snap on it. Yeah, well, that other set of wrenches that Santa got me for Christmas was $119. I didn't want to buy it myself. I thought that was kind of expensive. Make your wife buy it for Christmas. There you go. Actually, my daughter got it for me, oh. which was really nice. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I'll just kind of support it here. It ain't that heavy, but okay. Okay. Okay, now we're going to turn it, Matthew. Let go. We should have marked that where that was. Oh, it was. Let go. Who's holding on to it? I got a gentle okay. hold on it here. All right. Push. There we go. It's going and stretching at the same time, so that's good. Yeah, I can push here, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get it right on there. Wiggle it there. Get on the splines and feel the bolt where the bolt goes. Yeah, you want to do it the other way so it doesn't drop out. Right. I think the bolt. Ah, fuck! I just got a chunk of dirt in my eyeball. Oh, oh. Ah. Oh, you okay. I gotta get it out. You got it out? No. Okay. Just continue. I will continue. I'll go inside and let my wife rinse it out. Okay. Does it hurt? Yeah.
So 90 degree U-joint turn down below equated to 180 up here. So I'm not used to how much it was. Hey, open the door and holler at Matthew. Matthew, come here. So I'm not used to, you know, non-power steering play. How much was it before when you were doing it? It was going like 45 degrees each direction. Really? Yeah. And so you're, this here is that much of a difference, huh? Yeah. I think we're gonna have to go for a drive. <laughs> yeah, let's see. So with a 90 degree turn of the input shaft. U joint. U joint, we have a 180 degree turn of the steering wheel up here. So we're pulling the steering wheel so that we can uh, get it back upright. Thing. Is it? Uh, it doesn't seem to be moving yet. It feels like it's moving. But what is moving? Yeah, that isn't really compressing that washer, but yeah, you're comp you're bending the washer. How far will it bend before I? Yeah, you might want to do that. Put that smaller one in there so you're working on the tip of it. Yeah, sandwich it with the other one. You got to use them both. Okay. The smaller one was on the bottom? The smaller one goes on the top. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And it just just rides in the right there on the threads there. Yeah, center of the bottom one. Is it centered? It looks like it's off center. No. Yeah, it's centered. Yeah, this is not a proper steering wheel puller. Yeah, it's bending the washer up. Easy, easy. Yeah, it's coming. I see movement. I think I see movement. Now is it, is it coming up off the splines? I think it is. There you go. Okay, it did. Maintain the orientation. I think that the... Um, I marked the uh, inside shaft what was well, I think, straight. I'm pretty sure that we want it so that this hole that is down here is just on top. Right. We... We... Um, the steering wheel has three holes. Right. And it's a triangular shape. And we can... Uh, 
And by the way, this is not a stock 4106 steering wheel setup. This is a Mac. This is out of a Mac truck. And it, uh, it's got a tilt tilt wheel. It's all been rewired for your bus. This has got the signal switch. Yeah, it's everything. got the Mac turn signal arrangement and stuff oh, on it. This is awesome. It's okay. Okay, so great. So great. Okay, so, okay, so now we want it. Um, see where the hole is? That one hole is straight yeah, down. Yeah, we want well, it. This, this hole. Is what I'm looking at. Yeah, that holds down. That holds up. This is on the right. Your, your horn switch. So let's flip it 180 degrees. Oh, see, you just use this a your horn switch. You don't care. There's no wire. See, it just rides on this rubber thing, and that's the, okay. That's well, how it does it. All right. And um, see that how this that works? uses a different turn signal switch. So the horn makes contact with that. You don't have the counseling counsel, cancel signal counseling, so that doesn't matter. It's no, not there. I have to manually do my turn yeah, signal so, cancellation. It sucks. All right, so let's uh, we um, that's the steering wheel front two sides. Yep. So how are our front wheels toward? They're about straight right now. Um, a little bit right. I just want to go a spline to the right. That's where it was. Okay. That's exactly. Yep. Let's plop it on there. And it was about four clicks on that thing. Well, I'll get you a proper wrench for that. I don't, want, I don't want to use the impact on that. Impact works good. We're not. We're not. It was click, 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 and that was off. Right, but um, that thing is super powerful. I'm gonna get it wrench so we can right. hand, hand torque it and know what we got. All right. yeah. And we don't want to turn a wheel too much because we got the... That's why I want to use the impact. Ah. All right, let's go ahead and use the impact a little bit. Just, it's just a couple of clicks. Then we'll hand check it. It's on low. Did it move? I don't know. Nope. That's, what's that setting for? It's on low right now. Okay. Oh, if I, if I tighten it anymore with the hand wrenches, I'm just gonna steer. So I'm pretty confident in that. Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. It's just gotta hold it on the splines is all, so. Yeah. Okay, now. Um, then this was on there. That's the cap. It goes on there. The wheel goes on, then this goes on. But did you have anything under there? Nope. I think that was like the other way. way. Yeah, it was yeah, like it that. It goes like that. There was that gap there. Are you sure there's not a piece missing? Yeah, there's a piece. Hold on. But that goes on top. That piece... I think that piece goes... Yeah, it goes on top. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe it does. There we go. That's right. Get it on there. Quick dog. Yep. Okay. And the steering wheel, I need the steering wheel. Which is right there. Yeah, it's offset just because we were cranking on it with the right. wrench. I'll hold it for you. You need me to hold it for you? Uh, yeah, just start the bolts.
what it is. Well, I kept them all right there. And you took one to the store They're with you. there now. Oh, there's one right there. All right. You got one in your pocket? Yeah. And yeah, it's late enough Mac that it's metric. <laughs> well, these upper ones, yeah, the whole thing is, isn't it? Yeah, well, that center nut is not. Well, we don't think. Oh, no, the center one's not. speed all this up well I have a, I have an eighth inch impact with the um, or quarter inch impact with the Allen set if you want to spin them down in there oh they're already spun that's a fun dog of that. Oh yeah, put the dog on upright. <laughs> that wire's sticking out on the top. Something, oh it's a spring. Yeah, it's the springs that hold this in there. Need a screwdriver to put that back in. Prying those little guys. Uh, here's the tool we use to remove it. Oop. Hmm. Is our air down? Yeah, our air's down. Check that out. Hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised. Well, we'd be honking. Yeah, but we're clicking. Okay. Okay, uh, and I think we're it's time to put some tools away and go for yeah, a test drive. Let's do it.
point at it for me? Up there, huh? Yeah. So it's above the third ribbon, right? Just above yeah, the third ribbon. Right, right around here. I also hear it here though, so I think it might be something out there that we can just hear. Because I can also hear it if I stick it right in here. Oh really? Yeah. So I think I think it's something else. Oh But it's definitely like from here to here you can really hear it. Not so much up here. Which is weird because it sounds like it's okay. all right there. Pain tank while my buddy's here to help me lift this in. Oh. Now we might have to sausage one end in at a time, huh? Let me put this end in. Oh, is it going straight in? I think it's going in. Okay, it's got to come towards me a little bit, and then that piece of rubber fell. 
mind is, so it's pinching, okay, I got, okay, towards me a little bit. I can't see far enough. I'm on my knees. I'm not. Okay, so um, kind of pull your end out a little bit and I'll position this rubber better. Okay. Oh, I can't move it. You know, the body's in there. Oh, it's probably because it's wedged up against oh. this. You gotta... okay. Let me see if I can move it out of there. Can you rest on it? Mm. Can you see? Okay. It's pinched. Oh, shit. In the... It's pinched in there, so I can't. I can't pull it. Well, let me get in there and see what's going on. Oh. Oh, it's pitched. So we might have to move my end out as well in order to be able to move that, huh? You get it? Just good. Okay, just need to rotate it a little bit. Rotate it up. Okay, well, it's resting on rubber. All the way around. Now, so we got to rotate down flat. Oh, you got to lift up. Can you kind of a stick or something lift up so I can put the rubber back under there? Yeah, I'll we'll get a pry bar. my butt. Hmm. Oh, crowbar. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of butt in that video. There we go. Nice. Yeah, nice. This one? No, that one's good. Oh, God, that was good. So now we're going to have to oh. probably rotate it so those bolts line up. But I might, I could probably use a big pick or screwdriver or something to do that, if it's close. Okay, what do you need to do? Well, we've got to line up the holes that the bolts go through back here. Oh, big screwdriver now. Yeah, big Phillips. Finest chrome plating you could find. Chrome plate. I said this is the finest chrome plating you can buy. It is not chrome plate. <laughs> it actually shows every imperfection. <laughs> the, the idea was to try and match it to the paint, but oh, it I doesn't see. quite match. It's too shiny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me? Light? A little light over here in the subject. Oh, there's the holes. I can't even tell. I think it's got to rotate down because this, like that, this, this should be horizontal. Oh, well, yeah, that's your bit of holes in China. There you go. Oh, okay, that might have been too far now, huh? No, because now your holes are lined up. Both of them? Oh, yeah, look at that. Yep, perfect. Okay, cool. All right. Don't move it. Stick some bolts in it. I should have got new hardware for this. These are mighty crusty. Yeah. our new somebody complained about unsteady camera movement so now we he made it about what? nothing up uh, unsteady camera movement now we've 
So now what you get is you get a, uh, a, a camera shot that doesn't move. so that the bolt sticks through into the flange area as opposed to the other direction because I put I put stuff in here sometimes and that little bit of clearance is there. I carry a spare tank of diesel in here oh. and um, this hole's not quite open. Right. The spare barbecue cylinder. Yeah, this hole's no longer lined up. Oh. Well, my bolt isn't tight in there, so you need me to fetch it here. Oh, I'm in there. I'm the alignment key. fittings for you, you know. What fittings? Up above your head too, right? Those are old, uh, relating to the AC compressor that used to live in oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or AC, uh, yeah, AC. not compressor, but, um, oh. um, no, the pump, the pump is elsewhere. It was the, uh, yeah, compressor. Yeah, compressor. There you go. The bolt. You want the head of the bolt on this side? Yeah. You got it? Let me twist this a little bit. Um, give it a, a lift with your lever, just a little bit. Well, it's hard to start the nut when it's <laughs> crusty. Crusty, you want to make sure it's on the threads right. With the wrong hand. Need some white? Yeah, you get my feel. Okay, you're good to tighten it down. Other side? Uh, seems to get a little bit. Extension is not necessary. Well, actually, the final tighten would be better probably after they're both seated, so yeah. Maybe you'll get a credit on this film on this day. Camera work by Matthew Siepert. Mm -hmm. And a link to your YouTube channel.
Matthew, is that nut? No, it's right there. Oh, you see it? It's floating around. Oh. Now, is it the same size? I should get my fancy Harbor Freight ratcheting open and box in. Size isn't it? Nine sixteenths? Probably. Matthew, you want to grab a pair of channel locks or something out of my tool? What are you trying to do? Something to hold this. Oh, dude, that, that won't twist very far if you tighten that nut down. Yeah, but it's kind of crusty. I want to hold it. Okay. Never mind. That angle's bent. Smart enough, yeah. That's good. Yeah. It has to be able to they expand a little bit, I think. Oh, okay. Should I make it a little bit looser? Or is that no, I think that's just perfect. I don't think it's going to expand a whole lot. I don't think they expand any. Okay. Well, all right, it's five. I got to wrap it up. But we have made considerable progress. Yep, yeah, I appreciate your help. Thanks for the pizza. Yep. Your hand. Thanks for the help, man. Yeah. We saw. Oh, we need a U joint, and so oh, we can right. do a quick explanation. explanation. Yeah. So this is what we found underneath there. So they use a couple of U joints under there to go from the steering column through a box, then two U joints, and then into the main steering. The steering gear. Yeah. So here's the main steering gear. So what we had found is that we were had the u-joint configured like this so there's quite a bit of play like that just to turn the steering wheel because the steering wheel end before the box received its share of the of the uh turning angle uh, so what we did is we undid it from the steering box and moved it over 90 degrees so that the steering wheel was much more sensitive. See, this is the same amount of movement, but I'm getting much more turn out of the steering box. As it's on center, as you know, when as, the wheel is pointed forward, essentially, when the tires are pointed forward. Right, makes no difference down at the, but this is just at the center point. So if your steering is, seems to be sloppy and you have a GM bus, you might want to look at, look at this. And, See if flip you're, it 90. And yeah. Flip it 90 degrees. One bolt comes out of there, pull the slides off, turn it 90 degrees, put it back on. But this 90 degree turn on this shaft up into the steering wheel meant that the steering wheel through the miter box underneath the driver's feet, uh, that's a two to one ratio. So the steering wheel was completely 180'd off. So we pulled the steering wheel off and put it back in place. But now, so now it's got more sensitivity going down the road when you're on Much center improved. and you're trying to track ruts and stuff in the road it's it's a lot better so yeah less leverage and you know what i've had mechanics look at this i've looked at this you're the first person to see that and spot it so that's, you're a genius you're that's a because, genius it's because i'm mike siebert <laughs> thanks <laughs>